Hi guys, um, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to start an EC2 instance and then SSH into that instance um, using using the key pair that we create on Mac. Um, there will be a lesson on Windows, so go to the, the Windows lesson um, um, if you're using a Windows computer. So the first thing we need to do is go to um, EC2. I'm working out of North Virginia today because I don't have any EC2 instances up and running. So this is the new EC2 um, console. So what we want to do is go to launch instance. Uh, we'll launch instance down there. We'll keep it free tier only um, as this is just a um, example. Um, so make sure um, you choose one that's free tier only. Um, we'll take the first one. It's just an Amazon Linux instance um, and we'll select it. Yep, and what you want then is the general purpose T2 micro free tier eligible. So we'll just keep it again um, free tier. Um, we'll leave all of this as, um, as default. Um, we won't change anything. We're going into the default VPC um, just for the purpose of this demo. We'll leave the default storage, which isn't very much. It's um, 8 gigabytes, but... Again, for the purpose of this demo, we're grand. Uh, we won't add any tags, um, and we won't configure a security group. Um, we'll just launch it in a new security group, and we'll allow it SSH in. So that's review and launch. Yep, and that's hit launch. Okay, so now you need to um, create a new keeper if this is your first time. Um, I'll do this from scratch and what it does it creates a private key per file So um, you need to give this a name that you're going to remember. I'm going to call mine EC2 demo demo uh, Mac um, because we'll be doing a Windows one as well um, And I'm going to ask to download that keeper so you must download it here if you don't download your keeper right now um, it, it, It'll actually um, you actually have to create a new one. So let's just download um, you can see that's downloaded in the in the corner. It takes a few seconds, and we'll launch that instance. Um, yep, my instance is now launching. Let's view the launch log. Um, you can see that it's underway. Let's go view instances. As I said, this is the first instance. Um, this can take anywhere between kind of like a minute and and like five. So I'll just pause the video here and pick it up. Uh, once once it's up and running. Okay, that's the um instance up and running. Um, so what we're going to do next is connect that instance. So if you um, highlight over the instance, make sure you've got the wee uh, radio button checked and you click the words connect, um, you'll see that there is the ability um, to connect using um, the Mac terminal. So what we have to do first is um, go over to the Mac terminal and um, and go into our downloads file and grab this key pair. So I will go load up terminal and I will see you there. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this on a split screen so it's easy to see what I'm doing. First thing I need to do is um, go into my downloads folder. Downloads. Uh, and then once I'm there, I need to type in, see this command here. So this is chmod 400 EC2 demo pack. Uh, what that means is basically my key pair is no longer publicly readable. So if I just copy and paste that in um, for speed and hit enter, um, that's the key pair modded. As I'm in my downloads folder already, I can just copy and paste in the next command, um, which is SSH. So you're um, securely um, logging into that EC2 instance. Um, oh, on the wrong thing. And I hit enter. Uh, what you want to do is type in yes, so you're accepting the the uh, entrance. And as you can see here, we're on the Amazon EC2 Linux instance. Um, next thing you need to do is just run a few updates. So uh, sudo for the root uh, yum update, and uh, it'll go tell you what you need to update. And then you want to accept that as yes. And that is you once this is fully installed, ready to go with your micro T2. Um, AWS instance. Um, as I said, I'll be doing a Windows version for this and it'll be up in a few days shortly. Uh, I'll put the link in the description and on a card right now in the corner. Um, and until next time, thank you very much.